welcome to this Outlaw Wanted Dead or Alive edition of Hillbilly DVD Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Blu-ray edition of Young Guns. Now Young Guns is a 1988, kind of like a brat pack, you know, aimed at teens western. You know, basically what they did was they took the old western that at this time in the late 80s was known for grandpas and all this shit being slow, being boring, whatever, and they put a bunch of young motherfuckers in it like Charlie Sheen, Emilio Estevez, Lou Diamond Phillips, Kiefer Sutherland, and they made it all exciting and fast-paced and action-packed. Basically, the story revolves around Billy Kid running around, being a rascal. He's about to get uh, pinched by the cops or a gang or somebody he ripped off, so this guy named John Tunstall takes him in. He has this gang of young uh, reformed convicts, basically, he has working on his farm, protecting his property. Basically, what he does, he takes these young guys off the streets, educates them, teach them how to read, all this kind of shit, and then, you know, tries to straighten them out. But the thing that's fucking it up is Jack Pounds plays the villain. He wants to get rid of John Tunstall because he runs a store and he has this land. He wants to take everything this guy has. So basically what happens is, you know, Billy Kid comes in and he gets this new family, gets, you know, tight with these guys, and basically Jack Pound steps in and kills John Tunstall, played by Terrence Stamp, you know, Zai from fucking Superman too. Anyway, so then the, the, the group, the Young Guns, if you will, they go, they get deputized because nobody else wants to go up against Jack Pounce's fucking character. You know, everybody's on the take from him. He owns this town. But these guys don't give a fuck because he murdered their best friend. So they get deputized. They, you know, it starts out they're going to like this little shithole saloon where motherfuckers getting drunk and banging dirty old whores. And they go in, they're supposed to serve warrants, they're supposed to arrest these motherfuckers. But Milo Estevez, playing a fucking psychopath Billy the Kid, goes in and starts shooting everybody. And then that starts a whole war. And basically that's what the movie is. Them starting this war, fuckers come after him. Eventually gets to the point where the you know the cavalry comes in, the army comes in to try to catch these motherfuckers. You know, spoiler spoiler, they get killed off kind of one by one till the end. There's a little group left. You know, Emilio Estevez, they get trapped in his house. The army comes, big shootout. Not going to spoil it. This came out when I was a young kid. My dad took me to see it. I loved it, man. It was the first western I was ever into. And like I said, I just love how they made it fast back. And I'll tell you what, man. There is character, there is story, but it's mostly just fucking action in this movie, man. The fuckers shooting everybody left and right. There's, there's a part where Emilio Estevez shoots a guy point blank and they show, I mean, they linger on this shit. They show this motherfucker's head blown right, but you ain't seen westerns like this. Well, now you have, but this started the trend of the modern, gory western, and I loved it, man. And, and plus, it just gets bonus points with such a cool cast, Charlie Sheen, before he was all insane. Emilio Estevez at his best, playing a badass. I love this movie, man. I'm gonna have to give it eight and a half out of ten now on the picture and sound this is really where they shit the bed what happened was Lionsgate put this this is an early blu-ray uh, from 2007 blu-ray came out in 2006 so this is one of the first ones out to jump you know people were looking for big name movies back then so Lionsgate rushed this motherfucker out they took like an interlaced master they tried to, you know, make it progressive, transfer to blurry, and there was some fuck-ups, man. Basically, the artifacts that this process caused was, um, you just notice that really, right off the bat on the opening credits, all the names, like any sort of, uh, complicated edge, like the credits or whatever, they all have, like, little jaggies around, like a fucking PS2 video game. Once the credits are over, I'm like, okay, now that shit's over with. It's looking nice for a couple minutes. But basically, these little jaggies, they pop up. And it's not like the whole movie. It's not like the whole thing looks like a fucking Cuber video game from 1982. But I will say about a dozen times during the movie, you'll notice somebody will be turned like this in their nose. And you see a little, like, jagged edge on their nose. Or just, like, in clothing or in bushes. This shit pops up about a dozen times. But the rest of the movie looks pretty good. I mean, not amazing, but pretty good. Much better than a DVD, I would say, you know... 90% of the time. It's just when these artifacts pop up, you'll notice it and it is kind of annoying, whatever. The audio, they got DTS HD, not master audio, but DTS HD. Slightly not as good, but it's still really good. They did a remaster, there's good surround sound. They also have a Dolby Digital EX, no true HD, just EX on here. I listened to the DTS thing, it look, it sounded good, especially um, when they're sitting out camping at night, the crackling of the campfire you hear all around you, it sounds like you're outside, man. Picture and sound, but it is flawed. I gotta give it 6 out of 10. Special features. Time to shit the bed part 2. Now, I don't have it, but apparently I was reading there were some special edition DVDs. Had a commentary track from Lou Don Phillips and all these other guys. It's not on here. They fucking shit. I guess they were thinking they are going to release some other version of this, but they never fucking did. Only special features this has on it. Is, they got a bunch of trailers for like Crank and shit. That don't even matter. But they have, uh, it's called Out of the Blue. 
a trivia track. Little shit pops up. It's just like pop up video on VH1. Little fit, like it'll tell you when the movie, what year the movie was shot. It'll tell you a little bit about the director. It's just brief. I mean, it's cool that it's you know there at all, but it's it's not you know real vital information. And then they have a 30 minute <clears throat> documentary called The Real Billy the Kid. Now this isn't really tied in the movie. This just looks like something from the History Channel. They licensed and slapped on this disc. It's not a bad documentary, but you know a bunch of old dudes talking about the real Billy the Kid. You know, they, they tell the story of Billy Kid, and you can kind of compare it with the movie, what's real, what they made up for the movie, whatever. But I'll tell you what, man, <laughs> the, 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 the thing that, you know, will kind of like, you know, put a damper on it is they show a picture of Billy the Kid in this documentary. And I'll tell you what, that puts the whole Young Guns fantasy to rest, man. It, this motherfucker, real Billy Kid don't look nothing like Emilio Estevez. He's some fucking inbred, fucking buck tooth, fucking Jackie or Haley looking motherfucker the real Billy Kid was. I tell you what, man. So that documentary, as much as I learned from it, you know, like I said, it kind of killed the fantasy. So those are the only two special features I had on her. They weren't that fucking good. Plus, they left some of the special features off from the fucking DVD, even though they had plenty of room to slap it on here. So special features, I'm sorry. These motherfuckers, I gotta, I gotta give them a 3 out of 10. So that's it for Young Guns. This is a flawed disc, but if you pick it up for $5 at Target or Walmart or where the fuck like I did, it's not bad. I didn't have this on DVD, so it was nice to finally have it in a collection. But even if you got the DVD, take a chance on it, man. It's, you know, it's not bad. It's just flawed. You know, just, hey, just don't go into Best Buy like a dumbass paying $12.99 for this. All right, that's it. Ability DVD Reviews, Young Guns.